Hey, what is up, guys? Welcome back. So, um, we're gonna do some basically what we do for every single day, just our daily stuff that we're we're supposed to do. The event for the Santa, the 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 death death clause thing, kind of ended. Um, you know, it was, it was pretty good while it lasted. I got a lot of gold out of it. I have four million. Um, 4.3 million gold from from that Santa event and also from the the random sh shit that they gave us like afterwards I think they gave us like a compensation for um, Whatever materials that we farmed but wasn't able to to sell so they basically sold it for us and gave us the gold for for those materials so I Somehow feel like the music isn't that loud might be a, need to be a little bit louder all right, something like this, maybe. All right, so we're gonna do everything we were supposed to do. I actually already did arena. It's already very, very late in the day, but um, my schedule in Canada is just kind of like this. I can't really um, do it at the beginning of the day because it's it's usually I can't I can't remember. I think it's usually like when I'm eating dinner and stuff. So I actually have some th few things that I'm doing before I actually begin and do everything. But today we're gonna be all right, I'm, I'm actually gonna stop using the Zenith Queen for a bit. Um, I don't have her ready, but by tomorrow I will have her ready. So in tomorrow's video, you're gonna see her at her full power. Um, I, I really don't want to show her <laughs> anymore because I don't know. A lot of people are saying um, I'm in denial. It's it might be true, but I wait. All right, uh, this guy's full magic. Let's try it. God damn it. <laughs> I literally just said I literally just said I wasn't gonna do it I feel like the succubus doesn't contribute anything to it like I feel like I feel like I should do this you know and then it'll eventually kill them like I would have preferred to run like three healer and then her all right maybe let's try this con let's try this con I haven't tried this con so this is like no damage dealer and the only sort of damage that I'm gonna be dealing is my counterattacks alright um, yeah this is probably gonna be really dumb come on come on alright alright so she some of them are hitting my Adele no one's hitting my Zenith Queen my uh, my plan isn't exactly working I did get a silence off. I do have slow on them as well. Wait, this might actually work. This really might work. Oh shit, my Owen's already dying. And it's actually my uh my Adele that's dying. Alright, I'm gonna silence them. And then alright, now I'm gonna be doing a lot more damage because the Zenith Queen is gonna be the one that they're hitting. And then she's gonna keep, just keep counterattacking and stuff. Alright, look at the counters. Look at this. Alright, come on, heal back. Oh shit. Come on, Laura, you can do it. I just gotta kill that Olga before she gets her heal up. God damn it. This comp is so bad. It didn't work because they all attacked the Del first. I should have had like three healers healing her, and then it would have worked. All right. Um. Yeah, my my guildies are right now are in a guild battle. I plan to actually finish this video off with it, with like me going into the guild battle. But um, you know, if they fin if they manage to kill them before I get in, then we'll we'll just end it there. So the second thing I want to do is, um, I think I already did a raid today, so let's let's just go to the Time Rift, and it is, what day is it? Oh, False King's Tomb. Um, I don't think I have any destinies left for this, or maybe I do. I should really check. <laughs> I really ought to check this. I, I, I really got to make sure that everything is, um, is just perfect. Alright, so who needs to clear False King's Tomb? Not you, no, you already did it. You don't need it. Wait, I thought I already cleared Phantom's Wart with him. 
What? Are those that was bullshit? Um, he doesn't need it anymore. She doesn't need it. Nobody needs it. She needs it. I think that's it. We got nothing else. All right. Uh, that's then. It's pretty straightforward. I just got to make sure to use my um, Lamia when we're we're doing False King's Tomb, and I'll be able to complete all the destinies I need. And my music stopped. All right. So let's go with which team should I go with? Right, let's do this stage. We, we haven't done this stage yet. Um, I'm gonna throw in these guys. Wait, I can use my Death Knight? Wait, I don't need him then. I can't use any healers, but... Whatever, who needs healers? Who needs healers at this day and age? I mean, I'm allowed to use two of my main monsters, so... I think we're gonna do pretty good. Oh, nice. It petrified. That means my Lamy is going to do like extra damage to him because of the petrification. Problem is I have no heals and he has, he actually has some self-sustain. He has a move that like heals himself a little bit. Alright, maybe I can out damage him. Maybe I can just like burst him down and win. Come on, land some charm, some petrify. Oh shit. Come on, come on, yes! Alright, we got this, we got this. What? Oh my god, one scroll? Seriously? I do try my best to complete all the destinies for my various monsters because um, just having like extra, just having a little bit of a power boost for all your monsters is really nice because you can use them all for like guild wars and explorations and stuff. I think the main focus of this game of like lineage is actually the guild battles because a lot of it is like, like I think that's kind of the end, end game of, of this game. I mean, arena is pretty nice, but it's it's pretty straightforward. Like you, you actually only need like five very strong units to do arena. But to like properly do guild wars, you might need to raise like pretty much all the monsters in the game. You know, so that's I think that makes it really fun. Like it's gonna have like a really really fun late game in the future. Come on, I gotta finish him before he he uses his heal. Yes, all right. All right, we're doing so good. We're we're doing good so far. So far, our luck luck today is pretty good, and I also got a ring, so I think my Vashu can transform into him. Can finally transform into him. Um. All right, let's let's keep progressing the tower, and we're gonna try to um try to spawn this boss a few times and complete the destiny for my Zenith Queen. And by this time tomorrow, I'm gonna be. My, I'm going to be able to get my Zenith Queen like really, really strong. So, um, yeah, we are on 38, right? Are we just on 38, or are we? Can we do 39 now? All right, we're not able to do 39. So, looks like we're just going to have to do 38, and then, and then go up to 39. I think I'll go with my usual comp. I don't. I don't think we need that many heals yet. The, the enemy monsters are about like level maybe 30, 40, 30 something, 40-ish. So they're not like super, super strong. Because most of the, the maps I'm farming, the monsters are already like level 50 something. On on map 8, like they're, they're already level 50 something and I'm already able to beat them. So it's, uh, it's not that bad. Nice, we spawned them. All right, I just gotta do 39, and then I can, I'll be able to get him. I very, very clearly click next floor, but it always takes me back to the the original floor. All 
Man, my hand is getting so sore holding this microphone. It's it's really rough, like trying to um, make YouTube videos while I'm here. It's like it's actually still pretty rough. Like I, I to to be perfectly honest, I feel a little bit less motivated to make videos because because of how hard it actually is to do it. Like how much uh, more troublesome it is to to do anything. Like usually really simple things I would do before is is not that simple right now. All right, let's uh, yeah, let's let's hit him and then we go down and we try to farm a stage and see if we can spawn him. And if we're really lucky, we'll spawn him two more times a day, and I'll be able to complete like basically half of my destiny, more than half of it. So we only have to like spawn him, you know, three times tomorrow. Oh shit! Maybe I should have ran two healers. He's actually pretty strong. Actually, maybe not. Yeah, we're fine. We're sustaining just all right. Ooh, Dell's taking quite a lot of damage. Ooh, but I, I do have a second monster I can use, even if Adele does fall. I do have um. I do have some some tanks that I can use. All right, so let's go back to maybe thirty-eight. Like th I, I saw. I saw a lot of purple items on 38. Um, 38 or 39. 36 maybe has some purple items. A necklace. This is probably for um, for Ashley. Well, I guess I'm basically I go to the levels that have like purple items because I can use those. I can use those purple items to upgrade like other purple items if I if I actually do get them. But uh, so far, like from playing so long, I've only gotten um, I've only gotten one purple drop from from the tower like once. So it's it's really really rare to actually um, get get a get a purple drop. Oh shit! It didn't spawn. Or I'm gonna have to hopefully get really lucky tomorrow. If it's like this. Alright, I only have Well I technically technically now I I have to spawn him in like I can spawn him one more time, that's it. If I spawn him, go up to the last floor and kill him. Um I won't be able to to spawn him again. Like I, I won't be able to hit him again, even if I do spawn him. So, at most, I'll only be able to hit him one more time today. But hopefully, we get him to drop. Because if he drops now, I can go up to floor 40 and farm him, and that keeps my last ticket for floor 41. Nice, nice. I'm not sure if I want the zombie guy. He's actually really strong. He's he has a debuff that increases magical damage. It's like the magic version of Armor Break. And he's like one of the only monsters that have it. There's like only three monsters that have it. So it's pretty pretty uncommon. Hmm, I feel like Adele might be struggling a little bit to, to stay alive. But sorry, I'll just um Yeah, I should I should use my nukes. To take care of the backline. And then I'll buff up. Use Lara's nukes, transform into Owen. And then um, hopefully burst him down fast enough. Nice, my Adele still gets to live. That's so good. I'm not sure if I want to collect his pieces. It's actually a lot of work. If I if I want to get him, or maybe get a uh, get the vampire guy first. All right, let's let's go do 41 to to progress, and then this way, like when I'm eventually moving on, because there might be a destiny to kill like the floor 50 boss. Um, when I actually do do that, it'll be a little bit easier to do.
Hmm, maybe I should have used someone else instead of my, uh... Instead of my Adele, who was actually just about to die. But I guess we're fine. I mean, this is the last run, so it doesn't matter who, who dies, really. I don't know how to I don't know how to get well soon. Like I I'm still a little bit sick. It's just really really weird. It's taking forever to for me to recover. Um, but yeah, let's let's do our last arena battle for today, and then we'll go to the fortress battle and see see how my goldies are doing, and then maybe I'll finish them off. All right, I'm gonna stop using the Zenith Queen. This is actually really dumb. Is this the same guy I fought before? It might be. Alright, let's uh let's play with uh let's let's use my main team. Let's go with let's go with this. Alright, let's see if I can burst him hard enough before his uh before his healers start healing back a lot. The problem with using Owen or using Lara is like they they don't buff first. They don't buff first before transform transforming into Owen. And also, uh... Holy shit, that was so much damage. Hmm, that was actually closer than I thought. Your pay to win set can't save you now, it's not that strong anymore. Alright, let's go let's go take a look at the guild battle and see how my guildies are doing. I mean the fortress battle. Alright, we got another 40 43 minutes remaining for um for this battle. We're fighting against uh, X Poison. I think a lot of these guys already hit already, so let's. I guess let's go. All right, I'll wait for uh, Reuse to finish battling, and then once he does, I I will finish him off. So yesterday, actually, someone left me a comment and told me that um, there's a really really cool thing about you know running these monsters. Um, they always like the the second bar of monsters, the ones that 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 like you know tag in after someone dies. They always use their skill right when they spawn. So it's really nice to use someone that has like some CC or some nuke or something like that um, to to basically use their actives the moment that they they do spawn. So I think maybe maybe I'll run. He has the active armor break, right? No, I still think this is a pretty good comp because even if Olga comes in, she can do the first thing. Like the first thing she can do when she comes in is just heal my team up, you know. So I think that's still pretty strong. So basically, how Guild Wars or Fortress battles work is, you you just sit here and you um, you see who basically takes the enemy down first. Hopefully, hopefully I get a turn in. Um, and then, because this is actually really dangerous for us, because we only have 35 monsters in, for defense left, and they have 38. So, um, hopefully I can finish them off, like all 30 of their monsters with my 10 monsters. I don't know if it's if it's possible, it's, it might be a little bit difficult. Um, yeah, this is where the archers and gates and stuff that you upgrade come into play. And then you basically go through layers until you, um, eventually you get through, get through a certain gate. Oh shit, is this? Wait, that was the end? That was very, very anticlimactic. <laughs> what the fuck? Alright, so basically my guildies already took down their defense like right before their, their team perished. And I just literally went in for the last hit and ended it. Um, 
yeah, so that that was pretty much it. Like, I don't know. Uh, I think it's it's a lot. It's gonna be a lot more fun if you're like one of the first people to go into the guild battles. But I'm one of the stronger people in the guild, so I always let everybody go first before um, before I go in, and then. Um, this way they can they can get more resources and stuff because if I go in then I'll I'll be like hitting through a lot of their lairs and stuff and maybe it'll end really fast but anyways really happy that we won um, yeah so that's I think that's pretty much it we we beat them we get their resources and and that's the end of it so I'll see you guys in the next video thank you guys so much for watching and peace out